In this video, I am going to show you how to set up the protothrottle to control some auxiliary lighting features of a locomotive. We will be using a Scaletrain's SD40-2 for this example. This particular locomotive model comes equipped with class lights, lighted number boards, and a working rotary beacon. To begin, let's configure the up button on the main screen of the protothrottle to control the number boards. On this locomotive, I've set up the number boards to be controlled by function F12. To configure the protothrottle, first go to the configure functions menu by pressing the menu button. Enter the menu by pressing the select button. Now we navigate to the up button configuration by pressing the menu button. The F followed by two dashes indicates that no function is currently assigned to the up button. We can select a function number by pressing the up and down buttons. Here you will see that I have selected F12, but notice the MOM indicator to the right. This means the function is momentary and will only be active when the button is being pressed. Since we want to toggle the number board lights on and off, we want the function to be latching. To get a latching function, continue cycling through the function numbers until LAT is displayed. Here I have selected latching function F12. To save the setting, press the select button, then return to the main screen. Now, when I press the up button on the main screen, the number boards turn on and off. The next function we will configure is the class light function. This is assigned to F5 on this locomotive. Again, go into the configure functions menu. This time, navigate to the down button configuration. Set it to latching function F5. Save the settings and let's return to the main menu to test it out. When I press the down button on the main screen, the class lights light up. Pretty neat, huh? But wait, there's more. When I press the down button again, they change colors. That's a feature of this particular scale trains locomotive. Continue pressing the down button to cycle through the other colors and eventually to off. Now that we have the number boards and class lights configured, let's look at how we can control the rotary beacon. Since this particular unit did not come equipped with ditch lights, that setting on the protothrottle's light knobs is not being used. We can configure it to turn on the rotary beacon instead. While not entirely prototypical, this shows how, with some creativity, you can access other functions of a decoder using unused controls on the protothrottle. To start, go to the Configure Functions menu and navigate to the front ditch light configuration. Set it to F7, which controls the rotary beacon on this unit. Let's set the rear ditch light to control the rotary beacon too. Now, save the settings and return to the main menu. Notice how, when I set the front light switch to the bright plus ditch setting, the rotary beacon turns on. It also turns on when I do the same with the rear light switch. So, that's a quick overview of how you can configure the protothrottle to control various auxiliary lighting functions of your locomotive. Thanks for watching.